Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm going to be going over Molly's game. So in this review, I'm going to go over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you should go see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't know anything about the film and want to go in completely blind, I would come back to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? I'll tell them everything they want to know about me. About me. That's it. Molly's Game stars Jessica Chastain as the real-life Molly Bloom. Now, you may recognise her from films such as The Zookeeper's Wife, The Martian, and Interstellar. Her character Molly Bloom is trying to make it in the world of gambling as a poker game hostess. And as she becomes more successful, things start to escalate from there. So to start off, Jessica Chastain is very good in this film. She keeps you engaged throughout the film and you become quite sympathetic with her character as the film progresses. Idris Elba and Kevin Costner also do a great job in this film, and their scenes with Jessica Chastain's characters are very good. And I also want to praise this film for giving me one of the only Michael Sarah roles that I didn't completely hate. The film starts off a bit iffy because they're jumping from the past to the present, and at first it makes it quite hard to get into the film. But once the film establishes itself and becomes a more linear story, it actually becomes quite an enjoyable film. Now, I love films where they delve into a world and have their own language, if you will. It was very interesting to hear all the terminology that they have for playing poker such as what type of hand you have and what kind of player you are. Now this film is over two hours long and at times it can feel about three hours long. Now I think this works to the film's advantage because at no point was I feeling any fatigue with this movie. Because of the way this film is structured, how interesting the characters are and how well told the story is, I just didn't really want the film to end. It was a real good film. This film was funny, exciting and very interesting. So overall I'd say that the film is worth seeing and definitely worth buying on DVD. Okay guys, so that's my quick review of Molly's Game. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? Or what's your favourite film about gambling? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments. And until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!